Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about uh, renal the structure of glomerulus. Uh, so, as we know that our kidney is comprises of parenchymal cell, okay, the nephrons, which is the functional and structural unit. So here we have glomerulus. Here we have the entry point, and here we have the exit point. From here. 20% blood goes to kidney from the systemic circulation this point or this small arterioles through which the blood can enter is called efferent arterioles after that it divided into different small capillaries okay and these capillaries are called as glomerular capillaries or glomerular tuft so this is the glomerular capillaries then the blood from the capillaries goes to the systemic circulation through efferent arteriole. The difference between efferent and efferent arteriole is that the diameter of efferent is greater than the diameter of efferent. So it exerts a high, a significant pressure into the glomerulus, which help in ultra filtration. So let's discuss one by one the structure of glomerulus. Glomerulus is a part of uh, uh, glomerular corpuscles, okay, which having first the capsule, that is the Bowman capsule, and the glomerular capillaries inside. The the glomerular cells, they are like this. endothelial cells and they have fenestrations and they have a gap between them these fenestrations help to filtration so they are called as fenestrated capillaries fenestrated capillaries okay they have fenestrations after that there is a basement membrane which demonstrate in a green color this thin membrane is called as glomerular basement membrane endothelial cell we discuss these are the capillaries and then basement membrane the structure of basement membrane is like this okay they have a thick dense central region and two rare regions so these two regions they are called as lamina rara internal and external lamina rara and this structure is called as lamina densa so it is a coil of connective tissue or collagen fibers okay sometime antibodies autoimmune they attack the globular part of this type of collagen and that condition leads to glomerular nephritis and that condition is called that disease is called as good posture syndrome syndrome okay after that we have above the basement membrane over the basement membrane special type of squamous cells okay they are called as podocytes the structure is somewhat like this okay so this is the podocyte they have a nucleus and these are the food processes food processes in between them there is a gap this gap is called filtration slit filtration slit and there is a membrane and this membrane is called as nephrin okay, which help in ultra filtration after that we enter into the Bowman's capsule so this is the Bowman's capsule this all region is Bowman's capsule urinary Bowman's capsule Bowman's space okay or capsule and there is a parietal layer of cell squamous cells and these parietal squamous cells they are the capsular cells okay and these are the parietal cells we can say parietal epithelial cells parietal epithelial cells 
and into the interstitium between the capillaries we have mesangial matrix which containing collagen fibers and many other substances okay and here the special type of cell which act as a macrophage in case of inflammatory processes and it also help in the uh, synthesis of collagen fiber and it also regulate the glomerular filtration rate so this is about the glomerulus if we look further uh, deep okay so we can see more deeply that this is the blood lumen okay the blood capillary lumen in which blood cells are flowing these are the blood cells here we have the white blood cells they cannot pass through the glomerular filtration because the distance of the fenestration between the endothelial cells it is so small that it will not allow the blood cells and special proteins for example the fibrino fibrinogen and globulin so these proteins cannot easily cross this so they provide a size barrier okay they provide a size barrier and this size barrier will not allow the leakage of WBCs after in for example in some pathological conditions when these uh, size barriers they disturb so then we can see WBCs in our urine and that condition we call as hematuria which is related to kidney pathology after that we have a layer of basement membrane it also have fenestrations very small pores which allow very fine molecules for example glucose albumin they can pass through this membrane after that glucose can easily filter but albumin which is a small molecule but it go back to circulation they cannot filter this barrier why because over the protocyte food processes we have negative charges and these negative charges repel the albumin because albumin is also negatively charged so albumin negative so negative negative they repel and it will not allow the albumin to pass through it and here we have membrane that is nephrin so this charge over the uh, food processes is due to heparin sulfate heparin sulfate when due to any condition okay for example due to inflammatory processes certain inflammatory processes in which different cytokines releases and the those cytokines uh, neutralize these charges okay when these charges neutralize it will allow the albumin to pass and this condition is called as protein nuria selective protein nuria protein nuria okay so it is providing this negative charge providing a barrier to the protein the albumin that is charge barrier charge barrier so we discuss two barriers number first that is the size barrier number two charge barrier so in a pathological condition which is called is minimal change glomerulonephritis nephropathy minimal change glomerulopathy in which we can see through electron microscope that these charges they uh, neutralized so we can see uh, blood in, in urine uh, there is a protein there is albumin and in the blood decrease albumin level so hypoalbuminemia and uh, proteinuria and that condition leads to edema and that edema will be generalized edema if you look uh, under microscopically okay so we can see a very clear and very fine image like this is the cortical region and the medullary region 
in medulla we have mostly collecting duct and the ascending and descending loop of handle and in cortex we have mainly the glomerulus and the tubular system that is distal in convoluted tubules so here we can see these are the renal corpuscles okay in Bowman's capsule and glomerulus so here we can see the fine glomerulus and this is the Bowman's capsule then we have blood vessels okay this is the cross section image and we have here many tubules proximal convoluted tubules here this is the convoluted tubules okay here also uh, glomerulus then in the medullary region they have a long collecting ducts these are the tubular system so this is about the histology and some uh, thing about the glomerulus so in next uh, video we will discuss about further deep microscopical images thank you